Matthew 27 verse 54. Matthew 27 54. Now when the centurion, and they that were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake, and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this was the Son of God. Jesus was perfectly sinless. He was the only sinless human ever on the planet. He had to be without imperfection to qualify as the perfect Lamb of God who is sacrificed for our sins. This amazing confession of the soldier in charge of the crucifixion see also Luke 23:47 sprang almost involuntarily from his lips after all he had seen including the mighty earth quake Matthew 27:54 and then Christ's great victory cry John 19:30 and his voluntary yielding up his spirit so his body could die Luke 23:46 The centurion knew that Jesus was the son of God This truly was the Son of God. John chapter 19 When the soldiers came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. These things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled, not a bone of him shall be broken. Mark 15 39 When the army officer who was standing in front of the cross saw what happened when Jesus died, he said, this man really was the Son of God. The Roman officer in charge of the crucifixion was convinced that Jesus was the Son of God. The supernatural events of the day were impossible to ignore. The three hours of darkness, the earthquake, the blood and water gushing out of the dead Lord's side his seven sayings and the manner in which he spoke them. The control Jesus exercised over his last breath, and his last great victory cry, and his voluntary yielding up his spirit so his body could die. The whole experience was not like any of the other executions he had performed. This truly was the Son of God, Jesus. God was not through with the pagan Roman centurions. Not long after Jesus resurrected, Peter preached to Cornelius the Roman centurion. Cornelius was saved by God's wonderful grace.